Uh, so you guys are gonna have to forgive me for my voice and I've been a little sick so it's a little messed up so as you know there was another shooting school shooting in Parkland Florida and our hearts go out to all the people from that school and to all the families uh, everyone who lost a loved one over there uh, it's really sad and we never want to see stuff like that I can sort of relate to that I don't know if you guys uh, seen uh, if, you, if you're new you probably haven't but I made a video called the backpack bulletproof backpack I went to school in Colorado we were really close to Columbine high school 15 minutes away and we used to play soccer with those students over there and when Columbine shooting happened it was one of the first mass shooting that the school had and it was catastrophic I, I remember I was sitting in a keyboarding class I was just typing and over the radio we started hearing this stuff and the principal comes on and says uh, we need everyone to evacuate the school there was a bomb threat in our school it was it was crazy everybody started running around and this the shooting didn't happen in our high school but we had a lot of friends who uh, in uh, Columbine high school and I knew a few people that uh, passed away out of that school and it's still to this day we still talk about it I actually just talked about it recently to one of my friends we were just talking about how uh, crazy that day was and it's one of those things you just kind of don't forget and it's really hard to imagine how those families feel it's uh, it's really sad and and I think it's majority of it have to do with people just being ill and sick in the head to do stuff like this I just can't imagine I mean there's nobody can imagine that it's just some people get really sick in the head and can pull something like this and it's just it's, it's bad anyway um, this is another video that might help somebody in the future if there is anything crazy like that going on uh, we all wish and pray that they don't but unfortunately they happen there's always some sick person that ends up doing stuff like this I found these uh, bulletproof inserts that go inside these binders so you can put them inside this and give them to your kids or buy them for yourself if you're going to school um, they're not super cheap but they're $58 on eBay. I thought it was interesting to test out today, see what happens, see what caliber will stop. Of course, these are gonna be handgun calibers. If this says it's a level 2A, so it's not rifle rated, it's gonna be mainly pistol, but pretty much you insert it here inside this thing. Just for a ring a little closer. Uh, so the way I did this earlier was this. You open it like this. Again, I will leave a link in the description to where you guys can get this. It was $58 and also $5 shipping. So that's that, you put it like that. And then here. So then you close it. There you have it. So I can, you can still put your papers and stuff here. And there's also a little patch here. I don't know if this is meant to put papers or something inside, pencils. There's that Kevlar inside. But you can put the uh, pencils, erasers, whatever you have, papers, notes, or if you want to add more, uh, some sort of a plate. But again, that will make it heavy, so I don't know if it's a good idea or not. We'll just leave it the way it is like this. And I have a cinder block and bottle of water. I have also turned off all monetization for this video. We don't want to make any money uh, from this kind of tragedy. Um, so this is just an informational video. If Anybody wants to get one of these to help your kids in case there is some crazy stuff like this again. Oh, it's so hard to talk about it. Anyway, let's go back just ready. Alright, so we're gonna test it out with the Glock 19 and this is a 115 grain full metal jacket 9mm. Jasperi, you ready? Okay. Clear. Okay, so you guys are thinking probably it went through, but it didn't. The force from that bullet, it damaged the, uh, the back of, well, check it out. There's a bullet stuck right over there. It damaged the back of this thing. Force from that, it messed up the bottle. That's why this thing uh, blew up like this. So the bullet is in it. I can feel it. It's right over here. Let me see if I caught it inside. It actually, there's two layers of this Kevlar inside and it's stuck on this uh, first layer so that's pretty good actually there's the bullet right over there that's not coming out maybe I'll rip it open later take it out so it stopped the uh, 9mm now of course if it was to hit somebody it might uh, mess up the skin and the muscle tissue but uh, it will not penetrate inside of you 
Okay, for this next one, we're gonna do a Glock 23. This is a 40 caliber. I don't remember the grain. Okay, here we go. Clear. Always clear your weapon. Oh man. This was the 9mm, I think. Yep, the 40 is over here. It stopped the 40 also. FYI, uh, I bought this myself. I think I mentioned that already. The guy doesn't know that I'm doing this test. It's not some sort of a paid promotion. There's that 40 caliber and there's that 9mm. So let's put it back again. Okay. All right, for this next test, we're gonna do a Glock 30 and that's the 45. That's pretty ready? Ready. Clear. It stopped the 45 as well. Wow. All right, so it's stopping all those rounds. This thing is pretty good. It's super light, flexible. I don't know how many of these would you need to stop a rifle round. Maybe that'll be another video. I should have done that too, but I didn't think about it. And there's that 45. So it stopped 9, 40, and 45. And it's super thin. It may be, I don't know, six, seven millimeters. Super flexible. You can put it in a, almost in your backpack, in your binder. Not bad, I'm pretty impressed. You know what we should do also? I'm gonna shoot it four or five times rapidly, see what happens in that case. Also keep one thing in mind, they do say bulletproof on a lot of the stuff, but a lot of times with enough rounds going through something, eventually it'll make it through. So nothing is 100% bulletproof. It's more like bullet resistant, but we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't move. It's interesting, on the hard surface, the bullet just fell right out. It's clear now. Okay, so here's a perfect example. It stopped a lot of them. It stopped uh, the first two, three rounds. And at one point, I think it went in the same area where I shot it uh, multiple times and it made it inside. It went in here and made a hole and it hit the second wall. So one of those nine millimeters went through that. Oh, and maybe this one here, right over there, was on the ground and it made it out. So nothing is 100% bulletproof. This will stop most of the rounds. I think it did actually really good, if you ask for my opinion. For as thin as that thing is, it handled all these rounds very well. It stopped three in my pocket, three over here. So I will leave all the link in the description for this. And if you guys are interested, buy it. It's always good to have extra protection. These things are always good to have as a additional uh, safety features. But the main thing that I think it actually starts with is people themselves. So this one day in high school, I was walking and all of a sudden I hear, you know, people are just like shouting and stuff like that. The kids, the students were shouting. So I go into this other hallway, I see maybe 50, 60 students just made a huge circle around these two guys fighting. And uh, it happened to be one guy that is much larger in size and one uh, poor kid who was like half his size. And the big guy was beating up the little kid. And I just, I, I flipped out, I couldn't handle it. So everybody, but it was, it, what's interesting is, majority of these students, they were just sitting there watching and cheered, cheering these guys to fight. And uh, I found that very disturbing. I don't know why when you're at that age, you find these things entertaining, but it's not. And it can start with this kind of stuff. And I will get to that. So pretty much, I jumped right in. I'm, there was like 50, 60 people standing there watching and cheering these two to fight. And of course, the bigger guy was beating up the little kid. And as he was on top of him beating him up, I just, I broke, I broke the little uh, circle they had. I, I went in the middle and I grabbed him by the neck and I pulled him away and I just sat on him because he was a little bit larger than me, but I kind of got him by the neck and I didn't let him move until the security got there. And, uh, <coughs> and at that time uh, they called, I was sitting in the class, the principal calls my name and the intercom. They're like, can Edwin come to the office? And I went there and they were just so proud of me to, to stop this bullying. And this was a long time ago. And they actually gave me a gift card I thought it was pretty cool. And they encouraged it, which I, I kind of like. And I think a lot of schools, I mean, not necessarily they don't have to give, give away gift cards, but somehow encourage people to stop the bullying. If there is, because here's the thing, I think a lot of this stuff, this mental illness, a lot of this uh, bullying, it starts within the school and the people themselves. 
and um, they start picking on each other one person becomes really angry they, they start having a bad year in school or some people are just having a hard time in their home they're maybe having a problem with their parents maybe divorces you never know what the problem is so what I'm trying to say is try to be kind to one another if you're in school try to be understanding of other people's problems don't be selfish don't think this is all about you if someone is having a bad time if someone is being a little bit weird don't make fun of them don't try to go and beat them up if you see some bullying going on either report it or stop it yourself say something step in don't be the guy that just stands there like those kids did in, in my school and they're just standing there and cheering to that uh, one guy beating up the other guy that was just insane and I feel like it's my part, it's my responsibility to say stuff like this, about this and uh, a lot of you guys watch this channel, a lot of you guys are probably in high school, middle school, are in that age that you see this kind of stuff and, and I do not encourage it at all. I think any fight should be stopped, any bullying should be stopped in school and this is one this is one reason I think we have some problems like this. It not, it's not necessarily just the gun stuff. It's within the schools themselves. Kids are just now just bullying each other and uh, harassing one another and making fun of uh, the other students. And that's not cool. You guys should be really nice to each other if you are doing this. Be kind, be loving, be forgiving. And those are the very simple principles of life and it should be like that for everybody, not just the students. And if you are a parent, you're seeing that your kid is bullying another kid in your own home or something like that, have a talk with them, stop them, try to say something to change that. And that will probably, it's not going to stop everything in the world, it will just minimize it I think and uh, that will be a major help. Of course this world is uh, cruel, there's uh, all kinds of crazy stuff all over the world, we only see a little bit of it. But uh, I think if we all just kind of come together, work together, teach each other and learn, we can uh, make this uh, world a better place. Anyway, I hope that kind of uh, influenced you in any way. Uh, I know a lot of people probably not going to talk about this kind of stuff because it's just hard to talk about it. Uh, not, we're, not, we're not therapists and uh, in fact schools should hire more therapists and psychiatrists in schools. And, Place, place these people to do evaluation of these students. If they're seeing some issues going on with them, they should address it right away and uh, ask for extra help. That's another thing schools should be doing is uh, hiring more help and counselors in school and have a one-on-one -on -one with these kids. Anyway, I did enough talking. Again, uh, our heart goes out to all the people, not just in uh, Parkland, Florida, but any state, any city, anywhere around the world, any shooting. It's not something you wanna wake up to hearing. It's uh, it's sad. I hope this kind of helped you guys. I'm not even gonna ask for a thumbs up or nothing like that. Um, the only thing I can just finish this video with, just be kind to one another. That's all. Okay, we'll see you guys next time.